Hello, water signs. How are you? How are my water babies? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a tickle going on here today. I had uh, burned some sage. I hadn't been in the studio for a few days. I burned some sage and it was so smoky in here. <clears throat> I haven't quite recovered yet. <clears throat> we are getting ready to do... A reading for water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Move those one out of the way. All right, Spirit. Hang on. Yep, it is on. That is the paranormal flashlight back there. It could come on or off throughout the reading. Hasn't been real active today. It came turned on during one video uh, at one point validating a tremendous topic that I was talking about, about inner strength. Um, and it came on to validate that. However, it has been pretty silent. You know what? I just did fire signs, and these cards are very similar. You guys are dealing right now with a lot of... It, you know, before the holidays, there's a lot of uh, stress and emotion. Yeah, very similar energies coming out here. All right, Spirit, can I get, I was going to say two more, and they just rolled right over my hand. All right, let's see what's going on here for water signs. Well, well, well. We've got two nights. <clears throat> I certainly do read tarot a lot different than other readers, but I, I, I really pick up the frequency and the vibration of the number of the card and any similarities that are laying there, like it's just trying to be obvious. So whenever I have, you have two knights that jump up um, side by side. Also, they are both knights that indicate action. This guy's looking for a fight, riding in on a fast horse with fiery hair, and you've heard the old, old expression, when you're getting ready to pull out in front of somebody, you looked up and you looked like they were coming with fire in their eyes. <clears throat> that is that Knight of Wands. <clears throat> we also have that Knight of Swords. And now he's on a white horse, which usually indicates the good guys. A little more neutral than that uh, fiery Knight of Wands. But it also is a speedy horse that's looking for justice. For the right. Do it right. Just do it. Just do it right. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Just do it right. We have... The Four of Pentacles. Water signs. You guys have been very, very protective of yourselves financially. <clears throat> A lot of security in your knowing that you've got savings, that you have money. Knowing that your bills are paid. Um, that four is very representative about it being uh, money's a lot to do with what you've got going on right now we also have the let's see here we're going to go with the eight of cups <clears throat> yep you are oh so ready to turn your back on what has been happening on 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 a particular way of life. On a particular way of life. You're you're getting ready to change your entire lifestyle. We're getting ready to go into a new year. We are we're in the eh, first week of December, you know, a couple more weeks, three weeks to wrap it up, and we're getting ready to go into a brand new year. 
That's what he's doing. He's heading off. Getting ready. Heading out for something brand new and exciting. We also had the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Again, two eights. This is not new to you. This has been a repeating piece of history. You jump too quick into a connection with somebody. This is turning out to be a love reading too, uh, just like fire signs. You jump too quick into a connection with somebody before you find out who they really are. Um, take the time to get to know all parties in the next connection, starting with yourself. <laughs> hey, hang out by yourself for a little bit and get to know who you are. How in the hell can you offer somebody you as a partner when you don't know what you really have and what you bring to the table? <clears throat> we have the Ten of Wands. This is a fresh start for you, water. That ten is, uh, it's about, yep, finally, finally getting ready to put this whole thing to rest. Um, tired of carrying around. You know, you, you felt a sense of responsibility for, to somebody for a while, perhaps to take care of them financially, but you're getting ready to lay that to rest. Yeah, six of pentacles. You took care of somebody financially. You had the money to do that. You had the means. It, it didn't cut you short. There was plenty of bread on the table. But it got to a point where they had taken advantage of you. We have the hangman. I think you looked at this with a different perspective now. You're, you're seeing this situation with this person with a clarity that you didn't have before. Um, however, the, you're getting ready to change. You haven't completed <clears throat> all the illumination you need while you're hanging around. See that glow around his head? That's when you take the time to educate yourself. That glow comes from enlightenment. Okay? So get enlightened. Read. Learn who you are. Again, come by, find out who you are. Thank you, Spirit on Light back there. All right, that last card out of that hand is the Hierophant. You have been waiting for something substantial to come along. <clears throat> so, a, a connection or a commitment that will take you into the rest of your life with this person. Okay, and what, these cards are falling out before I'm quite ready. <clears throat> All right, now, ready spirit, give me some jumpers. Let's see what else the water signs got going on. If I get one card in my cup, I quit. I don't know if you guys can see it. Just for shits and giggles, let's do this. I will right, pull my card back here, and my cup back here. <clears throat> All right, can I get one more jumper, please? It doesn't necessarily have to go in my cup. As a matter of fact, I like the taste of my coffee without taro in it. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, you've got a, a water signs. You have a communication that's getting ready to come through. We've got the Eight of Wands. And, and this is something that somebody, I think it's a, an invitation from somebody to say, come on, let's go for a ride. Let's go somewhere. Let's do something a little different. Let's uh, kind of, let's breeze. Let's leave Dodge a little bit and go see what's, uh, let's go ride to the water. Almost everybody lives 20 minutes away from some kind of source of water, whether it's a lake, a river, 
a pond. We have the magician. I think there's a new connection that, that is going to happen for water signs that is going to be just a little bit more spiritual, a little more connected. A mag magician. You're, you're bringing light with you this time. You're bringing the light with you this time. You have educated yourself. You're working towards, here we've got six, uh, six of swords. You're moving towards smoother, a smoother life, a smoother waters. It has been a bit emotional for you. And that card is about water and the swords themselves indicate emotion. But I think you've got it more under control this time. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. You are beginning to really put your focus back on what you want. On, on where you want to go. If you have a hobby, it would be a good time right now to really put your focus on that hobby. Something to help you clear your mind and look at things with from a new perspective. And last but not least, we have the Strength card. What are you? It could be a Leo that you're, you're dealing with. But that strength card is, it's more about the compassion that you have gained for other people. Not so willing to just break off a connection and hurt somebody. I think you may have hung in there, Water, with a past connection way too long. And now it is your time. Yeah, that strength card is all about the new confidence and control you're bringing into your life. Wow. There you have the water signs. Leo the lion. All right. I am going to leave that there with you. And as you know, I never leave you. That I don't bless you with love and light. And after I click off the video, I sincerely say a prayer. All right, see you soon.